Um, Peter, how was your weekend? It's good, man. I um, have played a video game for the first time in about what feels like about a year. I'm on uh, a video game podcast, VGC, a video game podcast, and the um, lads and lasses what are on that show, they live video games 24-7. Like, that is their bread and butter. That's all they think Jordan about. Jordan and the gang. They... Jordan and the gang, who you heard on this show a few weeks mm. ago, they are very much computer game guys. They play video games all the time, and they know everything about them. I and wish I had that I... job. <laughs> well... I don't think it is a good job. And I, you know, there was a certain amount of reluctance for me um, starting uh, a video game uh, podcast because it's the last interest I have that's getting mined in, in many ways. You know what I mean? Like, football, doing the football ramble, to a certain extent, has ruined our football teams for us a little bit, Luke. Would that be fair to say? I know, my football team have done a good do, job of ruining it themselves. <laughs> that's that's, that's all on them. To be really. fair, that is very much all to on them. To the point where now I just don't bother. <laughs> And I've, I've, if I've they're not going to bother, why should I bother? I've made it alone. my mission to somehow conspire to make sure my son does not support Portsmouth. <laughs> now, there's certain teams I don't want him to support, which I'm going to gently nudge him to out away from. Yeah. Other than that, he can choose his own because All I'm not right, going to wish it on him. No. I can't. Well, <laughs> anyway, carry on. And you know, even if he chose Portsmouth, you know he'd just be trying to please you. And nobody likes a kiss ass. <laughs> And based on how it's going so far, I don't think he's going to be minded to do that. No, I don't think so either, to be honest. But who knows? Who knows? But um, yeah, I, so I, I've, I'm i doing the show and, and all these people just know loads about video games, like loads and loads. And yeah. they spend, and, and when a new game comes out, for their, for their work, they have to sit down and not only review it, they have to sort of go through a game and defeat it and then make loads of video guides on how to do different stuff. Like, that's their Yeah, so I don't want to do stuff. that. I just want to play. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I, I think to be that methodical and be that organised and that kind of, like, across everything, it is not only writing, it's video producing, it's editing, it's presenting. There's so much yeah. stuff in it. Anyway, yeah. I don't know if, compared to them, I don't, I don't fuck all about video games. I thought I did. I read a lot about video games, but I never play them. And so I, I made the conscious effort at the weekend to actually sit down and play a video game, which is good. It was a game. Which one was it? It was a game called uh, Humanity, which is a little bit like the 80s video game Lemmings. Do you remember that? Yeah, I loved it. I, I used to play Lemmings about, all yeah. the time. It's a game called Humanity, where you play a dog <laughs> that runs around and helps a load of people get from one place to another. They start, they fall out of a trap, bar, a trap door, much like Lemmings. And you got to get them at the end of the level. And that, this that's is a Lemmings rip-off. Trapdoors and all sorts. Man, there were so many Lemmings rip-offs in the 90s. Everybody wanted to make Lemmings again and again and again. It was an uh, IP Wild it, West then. It though, was. Wasn't it? And you could get away with all kinds of shit. Uh, but uh, but it's very much... It, it kind of ticks a lot of Lemmings-based boxes and it's very enjoyable and very space age. And there's the actual kind of number of people on screen at any one time. It's not just like... A hundred. There's like thousands of people running around at the same time, and I and I played that over the weekend, and I had a bloody good time. And I'm looking at my Steam achievements. I played for one hour, and it has revolutionised my weekend. It genuinely good. made me go. Good for your mental health. I think it is. I should play because I because God knows I'm not going for a run. I I, I did try and um, on Microsoft Flight Simulator um, fly from Luton to Southend. Um, <laughs> Um, for, for for ten minutes as well, but uh, you must be the only player of that game to, <laughs> to, ever, to ever make that, that route. route. Yeah, do you reckon? Yeah. Do you reckon the stats? I was going. No one has ever done this combination of routes. Making flight simulator even more boring by just re <laughs> remove just moving aircraft from one airport to another, like empty flights. Yeah, just taxi. How long is the flight time? Uh, it wasn't long. It was only it only seemed to take ten minutes in game time. I don't know. Did you but successfully it, do it? No, no. I just I no. I crashed in Kent. <laughs> oh, terrible. <laughs> Yeah. So if so, for example, then I don't know much about this um, this kind of thing. If you so if you went onto a flight simulator, mm. and presumably they're really good these days, right? It's a good standard. They they use Google Earth data, so everything's super super accurate. Everything looks like it's supposed to look like, and it's no, but so the um, the actual simulator itself, the plane yeah. cockpit and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Massively. So if you so if you chose to do London to Sydney, yeah, we're going Sydney. And, You'd stop, yeah. You'd stop at say you stopped at Singapore or whatever. Mm. The London to Singapore leg, which is whatever, thirteen hours. Yeah. Would you actually have to flight simulate in there for thirteen hours? Yeah, I think you can speed it up if you want to, but it would be. What's quite, the point of that? It would it's be quite funny. Is it? It would be quite funny to kind of like uh, have 
like stick it on autopilot, go to bed, wake up the next day and then land it. That would be quite yeah. funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> but the, only, the only difference between that and an actual plane would be you didn't have a co-pilot with you just to double check. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, you just stick it on autopilot. I mean, I don't, I don't know whether there's like, presumably it's not like if you are using Boeing um, planes, they probably don't want to put into the simulator um, adverse conditions like, you know, a lightning strike or, you know, uh, uh, you know, hijacking or something like this. Is there not security reasons why you shouldn't be detailing everything that's in the cockpit either? I think it's an open book now. You you, you, you right. can watch some of these, um, you know, the mentor pilot guy. He explains everything. And to right. be honest, I think it puts more people off because it's really bloody complicated. Yeah. There's too many things. Too I many just, things. I just don't, I, I just don't. So to me, I understand the approaches to airports are different. Mm. And I understand that part of it, mm. but I don't know why you'd want to be you know, cruising at a simulated altitude of 35,000 feet doing absolutely fuck all for yeah. six hours. Well, I don't know. It's nice. Is it a therapeutic kind of mental health thing, do you reckon? Maybe. I mean, I, I mean, Flight Simulator is a, a, one of the first kind of video games. I remember my mate's dad. Yeah, I had one on back the, in the on, day. On, on, on the Spectrum. He used to sit there for hours playing. It was amazing. Um, And yeah, they, I mean, they, they, people must get... And, and also people who are training to be pilots. I mean, the, the, it's got to the point where... You know, the cockpit looks like a 747 cockpit and the buttons do exactly the same things. Yeah, but it's know. quite a niche audience. People are trained to be pilots. True, isn't it? true. But I mean, I think the idea of... I, th- I think um, learning to fly is probably more popular than, than we give Have a bit of a go at eight ball pool on your phone. <laughs> have a bit of a go on that. Yeah, exactly. There's, That's there's what a, I play. There's a new game um, called... I think it's I think it's all up only or always up or something. And um, it's basically this, this game where they've just put... Every like three D model in every three D library, and they've just put it in the sky. If that makes any sense, right? And it's a piece of shit. And all all you do is climb, 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 jump on all of these objects until you get to the sky. Um, I think it's called right. Always Up or something. Um, right. And this stuff is so unbelievably popular. And all of the assets, all of the little models that are that, that you stand on, have clearly been ripped out of stuff, been you know taken out of um, video game libraries and stuff um yeah only up it's called and it's basically just where a, where a character just climbs 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 as high as possible uh in 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 the sky and um i think it got pulled off steam because there was a load of 3d assets that that, that shouldn't have been used because <laughs> you're being used illegally amazing so it's like pretty egalitarian now people developing their own video games and stuff i mean yeah i mean this is this is some pretty pretty weak sauce but it's very popular so i watched this guy called dr disrespect playing it over the weekend <laughs> And he's uh, as if that isn't your alter ego. <laughs> I wish it fucking was. He's very well off, but he was a PUBG right. streamer back in the day, and he, um, I think, did he cheat on his wife? And I think that was that was a big that was a big Ferrari a little while ago. And he's this kind of like he 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 has a moustache and he wears a fake wig. Um, and sunglasses, and he plays games all day. And he's oh, I think I know who you mean. I wasn't sure that was You his name, will yeah. know who he is. And yeah. uh, he's be, he plays um, only up, and the people were just giving him like. So much cash. This guy's like a multi multi millionaire now because he's one of the most popular streamers in the world. And you know, he'll probably get a load of money to go to that kick TV thing that that uh, kick uh, um, thing that uh, is in opposition to or in competition with uh, with Twitch. Um, that's like, buoyed by a gambling firm. They um, he he's he's so well off. And people just to drop a message into his chat were like giving him hundred dollars here, ten dollars here, and stuff. And um. And all you get out of him is like, oh, thanks for the hundred dollars. <laughs> you get nothing out of him. Um, I, I never understand why people do that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess you just yeah, it's just a bit like a tip jar. But you don't you don't need a hundred pound tip jar. Um, but this guy, uh, but this guy's climbing to the top of this thing, and it's never ending. This game, it just you know these these assets just float around. You climb, 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 and the. And the uh, yeah, and 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 up and about, uh, you, you just climb, 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 and the. When you fall, because the most popular streamers are quite aggressive men, <laughs> they get really angry when they fall down in this game. And it's yeah. the perfect video game for streaming because men get angry, anger is money, and you become incredibly popular doing it. So what what we and, I, and I'm what's just sort of thinking. Well, I mean, what stopped me? I, I mean, exact. I mean, time, I suppose, and and also, um, I don't think I've got enough in the tank. I don't think my antacids would handle it. To be honest, <laughs> I get I get very bored even with my own anger after a while. <laughs> I do. Do you know what I do find? I do find PUBG like a really interesting thing to watch as well. Mm. Like I think it's 
I was thinking about this the other day, and I love um, watching snooker, right? Mm. Which I'm, and bear with me because this is a weird comparison. Yeah. But snooker is like, it's it's everything's familiar, but no frame is the same. Mm. If you know what I mean, it's always on the same. There's no like change realistically in the in the um, in the stadium or or the comp. I mean, the competition does change, but mm. I mean. Every frame's familiar, but it's different. I suppose you could kind of say that about any kind of sport with parameters, but it's an individual sport where things are the same, but each individual edition of it is different. Mm. And PUBG's kind of the same. If I watch PUBG, I like watching how it unfolds, how it manifests itself. I kind of, I don't watch it, I don't enjoy it quite as much as I do playing it, but I do quite like watching it. And I couldn't honestly say that I, I really enjoy watching other people play video games generally. Yeah. But when I watch the, um, the 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 world championships uh twi- um um PUBG thing a while back it was fucking cool because the way they cover it actually is also really good mm. like compared with a lot of the way tra- traditional sports are covered on telly like they they massively enhance the the broadcast so yeah. for example you know for obvious reasons if you're playing you can't see what everyone else sees they're really good at like fast paced, like cutting between different teams, showing different graphics. It's really good. It's really well worth watching. So I do kind of understand why people people like it. I think I think um, PUBG I, in in particular, there's a lot of downtime, isn't there? Because you're just kind of like hiding, <laughs> just hide and seek in it, really. But you, but the thing about the, a lot of the top players, they seem to be super aggressive. Mm, so they, right, so okay. they, they so will they get their the shit together to the, and right. they'll go for it. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's the thing. And I've played and I've played before when you, you're on the end of that. And I once got put in a team who were like that. And it was honestly, I didn't do anything and I won. Mm. Right, okay. It was, it, was like, it was like being a part of the SAS for a day <laughs> without being knackered. Yeah, yeah. Good. But I, I, the thing is, Pete, the sad thing is I never really play as much as I used to because... Um, I don't really have anyone to be in a team with. Oh. I've only got a couple of pals, and they can't always play. So can you just drop um, yourself into a random team, start a clan. Yeah, you can, but it's not as fun Fierce because you clan. don't know them. First clan, Luke. <laughs> and also, you never know whether you're going to get um, English-speaking people either. So I could That's do that true, clan yeah. thing, maybe. Mm. I'm El Amigo Bandito on there. If anyone wants to add me. Mm-hmm.